In this video, I'm going to talk about installing Radiant Barrier for new construction and a method that's significantly more effective than your traditional Radiant Barrier decking. Now, the first thing you want to do is take a look at the Department of Energy full scale study where they compared Radiant Barrier decking to staple up foil like attic foil applied inside of attics. And what you'll find is the Radiant Barrier decking reduced heat flow by about 30% total heat flow, whereas the staple up method inside the attic reduced heat flow by about 50%. Now that's a significant difference, almost 60% better if you staple it up to the bottom of the rafters. Now this method is kind of a hybrid method. You actually go over the rafters and push it down a few inches between each one. So this creates an airspace between the foil and the roof deck, which is a lot like an attic install, but you get more energy rejection than using the radiant barrier decking, which works off the emissivity quality. And the installation is really simple. All you want to do is run the attic foil across the rafters and push it down about three or four inches between each one. Now, there's an easy way to do this. You can make yourself what I'd call a jig, either out of some spare lumber or some PVC pipe. And basically what that does is it's like a T. It sits across the rafters and it'll push down the foil the exact same amount between each rafter, maybe that three or four inches. Then just put one or two staples to hold it in place until your roof deck goes on top. Now the only other thing you want to do is when you start at the drip edge, start about 10 or 12 inches from the bottom. You want air from the soffit to be able to go between the foil and the roof deck. And when you get to your ridge, you want to stop a few inches from the top. You want that air to be able to exhaust. Now it doesn't matter whether you have ridge vent, uh, wind turbines, turtle vents, or any type of exhaust, other type of exhaust. You want that air to be able to flow freely through that attic as though the attic foil isn't even there. Now, if you don't have ridge vent and you've got other type of vents, what you want to do is cut a hole in the foil below that other type of vent. So basically, hot air is almost like water heading toward a drain. You just want to give it an unobstructed path to get out. Basically, that hot air should never hit a dead end. We've had many home builders uh, switch over to this method instead of using the radiant barrier decking. And in fact, we've had a few builders do both. They actually use the radiant barrier decking to work off the emissivity quality and then the attic foil uh, draped between the rafters to work off the reflectivity quality. When combining these two, they've told us that you can stand in that attic on a hot sunny day and you can't even tell the sun is out. So for more information, visit atticfoil.com. If you're a builder or a contractor, we offer quantity and uh, contractor discounts. So give us a call or visit the website, atticfoil.com.